There are two things the Albanese Labor government cannot hide from. One is the cost of living, because we all feel it every day. I put $158 worth of fuel into my car today. $158, a, a couple of tankfuls of that, and you could pay for my first car. Power bills, mortgage bills, grocery prices. The government can't pretend there is no hardship for families, and especially those on fixed incomes. The second thing they can't hide from is their overarching promise at the last election. Taking pressure off the cost of living. Of addressing cost of living issues, to take pressure off living standards. There is a cost of living crisis. Meaningful help with your cost of living. The cost of everything is going up. Well, that was then, hey. Now we're dealing with the opposite. Now we're dealing and experiencing with the opposite to what those promises were to deal with our cost of living, get it down. But today, with worrying inflammation, inflation numbers coming out, numbers partly driven, of course, by petrol prices and numbers putting more pressure on the Reserve Bank to increase interest rates yet again, well, Treasurer Jim Chalmers was again trying to spin his way to economic good news. The world is inflicting price pressures on Australians and we are doing the best we can to ease them. And what we've seen today is another uh, moderation in annual terms in inflation in our economy. Uh, for the third consecutive quarter, uh, we've seen a moderation in annual inflation, this time from 6% to 5.4%. Yeah, it all sounds rosy, hey? Well, experts drilling into the numbers say the monthly figures are a real worry, showing that the end of the quarter has inflation heading upwards again. The Coalition can't see any good news. We have seen an increase in fuel prices and Australians are paying a very high price at the Bowser right now. Uh, often we'll have it $2 a litre. Uh, we're also seeing electricity prices uh, going up at a high rate, insurance costs, rental prices across many categories of purchases, goods and services Australians are paying substantially more than they were. Make no mistake about it, prices are going up. They're going up faster than the target rate of 2 to 3%. Uh, and uh, the end of the pipeline is not in sight at, at this point. Yeah, Labor's getting even more money out of the excises on our fuel and Labor's policies are forcing electricity prices up. But the opinion that matters most is that of the Reserve Bank Governor. She's only been in the job a number of weeks and she's in no mood to start her term with runaway inflation. The board won't hesitate to raise the cash rate further if there's a material upward revision to the outlook for inflation. Batten down the hatches, hey. The big focus on Melbourne Cup Day will be the Reserve Bank board meeting and whether rates go up again. That'll take the gloss off any sweepstake wins.